This week, we take a polar plunge at Aquatica. And then we search for food deep in the jungles. The jungles of Adventureland, that is. We'll also have the latest theme park news and more coming at you right, right now. now. to you by MEI Travel, our preferred travel agent for Disney World, Universal, Cruises, and all your vacation planning needs. For a free quote with no obligation, visit MEITravel.com. Undercover Tourist is our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Florida and California theme parks and attractions. For the best deals and planning tips, go to UndercoverTourist.com or find them on Facebook and Twitter. Fun Spot America is Central Florida's only family-owned theme park, offering two locations, Orlando and Kissimmee. Both theme parks provide safe, clean fun. For more information, visit fun-spot.com. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the show. I'm Elisa. And I'm Banks. Wait. What? <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly, Banks is not here today. Yeah, Banks is sick today, so we wish you, wish you well, buddy. Get well soon. Definitely. It's not nice to be sick, but we are happy to have Andy here hosting for the first time for Ooh, the show. I'm very excited. Yeah. I've never been on this side of the, the desk. That's <laughs> neat. Now, this isn't Banks' cup, right? We, we've washed this since... Um, right. Yeah, you're safe. You're, <laughs> you're good. I'm excited. Um, no, thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Well, why don't we get going and start with some news in the queue. First up this week, Walt Disney World has begun new seasonal pricing for one-day tickets. Single-day ticket prices will now vary based on a tiered pricing structure. Dates are divided into one of three seasons, value, regular, or peak. Peak dates will see a one-day Magic Kingdom ticket being $124 and the other three parks $114 each. Value date prices will remain the same as the current one-day prices, $105 at Magic Kingdom and $97 at the other three parks. And of course, regular day prices are in between those two. Multi-day tickets at Walt Disney World are not to be part of the tiered pricing, but have raised in price. Annual pass prices are not to be affected at this time. You know, I, there was a lot of uproar about this, but I don't think it's that crazy of an idea. No, I think it actually makes a lot of sense because like now, instead of just being kind of the same level of busy throughout the year, mm -hmm. they can help moderate, I think, the attendance levels. Exactly. It's going to go a long way. I, yeah, I agree. And plus, you know, with the annual passes, the tiers that they have in there sort of affect the, the times of the seasons, too. So I think it does make sense to do that to the single day tickets as well. Right. And it's nice that they're not trying to do like a quota system or anything with the annual passes, mm -hmm. like only so many value days or so many right. peak days or whatever. Yeah. I think it'll, I think it'll go a long way. Yeah, definitely. More than 30 new retail and dining options are coming to Disney Springs this year. As guests enter the new town center area, they will be greeted at the Welcome Center, a place where they can relax and take in the clear water with lush landscaping. A few of the better known stores coming to town center include Sephora, Matt Cosmetics, Vera Bradley, Columbia, and a Coca-Cola store. The restaurants include a gourmet burger joint called Deluxe Burger, Tablas Frontera, a Mexican themed restaurant, and a reimagined Fulton's Crab House. Visit our website for a full list of establishments opening starting May 15th. I'm excited about the stores. I, I, I mean, I know you're probably <laughs> excited for Mac Ooh, and Sephora is coming. Sephora. I just, oh, I'm so, no. <laughs> I, I looked through the list and I, there's only a couple there that really kind of appeal to me. I, I don't know. I hey, mean, you guys have the art of shaving. That's all you need. Do, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing. <laughs> no, but I, I think there are some really cool options coming to Disney Springs. It is weird to see it sort of turn into a mall. There is a little bit of an outlet mall-ish mm -hmm. feeling to it, I think. But uh, some of the restaurants, though, I am super excited about. Definitely. Mm. Big cool. Walt Disney World has a new source of energy, mouse power. That's right. Well, in a way. Let's just say people flying over Walt Disney World can now see a shiny, new, huge, hidden Mickey looking up at them. 48,000 solar panels arranged in the shape of a Mickey head was built by Duke Energy, which leases the land from Disney. It's cool. I mean, it's <laughs> definitely something, uh, I guess when you're flying into Orlando now, you'll know, like, this is Disney World. Oh my gosh, you definitely cannot miss this hidden Mickey. It's not so <laughs> hidden Mickey, actually, should I say. But, you know, if, I think it's a great uh, way for Disney to bring some solar energy to the parks. And, of course, they don't do anything small, so... 
They I, made it 48,000 panels. Exactly. What, why not? <laughs> mm -hmm. Why not? That, right, if you're going to do it, you got to do it big. Mm -hmm. Last but not least this week, a Hello Kitty store opened at Universal Studios Florida. Located near the front of the park in the former Lucy Tribute space, the store marks Hello Kitty's official retail debut at theme parks in North America. Inside, guests will find specialty merchandise such as stationery, home goods, apparel, accessories, and collectibles. Specialty co-branded Hello Kitty Universal Park exclusive products are expected to be available in the future. Two additions that will also debut in the future are a create your own souvenir versions of Hello Kitty's bow and a meet and greet with Hello Kitty herself. <laughs> This is adorable. <laughs> Personally, I'm not a big Hello Kitty fan. Are you a secret Hello Kitty fan? In no, uh, and I'm also, um, I Love Lucy is my favorite TV show of all time. Aww. So to see uh, the Lucy tribute go, that was always, that was the thing I had to see every single time I went to the park. And last time I went and it was closed, I was like, no, yeah. my Lucy. So I'm, I, I hope to not hold that against uh, Miss Kitty. Right. But, um, I might. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. I, I would rather see Hello, uh, nah, uh, <laughs> I Love Lucy stores there as well. But it is always nice to have an additional meet and greet opportunity in the yeah, park. Absolutely. And maybe they'll put in some kind of like Easter egg or something mm -hmm. in the store. Like how they had the Jaws Easter eggs in Diagon Alley. Yeah. That could be cool. <laughs> I, can, I can dream. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Hidden Mickey of the Week. For this week, let's go to one of the Walt Disney World resorts, Animal Kingdom Lodge. A Mickey image is etched in the cement outside of the Mara restaurant. Go to the walkway leading to the pool, which is directly opposite the rear exit door from the restaurant. Near the end of this short walkway, and on the left side as you stroll toward the pool, you'll find this small hidden Mickey etched in the cement. Happy hunting! Fun Spot America. Aquatica recently held their annual polar plunge benefiting Special Olympics, so we sent Jovan to cover it. Wait a minute, I thought we sent Banks. Well, Jovan was supposed to do the plunge and Banks was there to film it, but it didn't exactly turn out that way. Take a look. I'm here at SeaWorld Aquatica to check out the polar plunge benefiting the Special Olympics. Now, the word polar typically implies cold and plunge is diving into water, so I I think this event involves me getting in cold water, but let's go check it out and see what's going on. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your history with the Special Olympics Polar Plunge here. You know, Aquatic Orlando is very proud to have been part of the Special Olympics Polar Plunge since the very first year, right here at Aquatic in 2009. So this is our seventh plunge. We expect over 800 plungers today. And to date, we have raised one and a half million dollars for the athletes of Special Olympics Florida. And it is just an incredible event here at the park. Sherry, this event looks amazing. It looks like so much fun. Can you tell me about the role it plays in Special Olympics here in Florida? Sure, it is a lot of fun, and it's one of our signature events that we have annually. Uh, the plunge has been going on for seven years now with the good folks at SeaWorld and Aquatica. Um, it's a great way that our whole community comes together, really. We have our athletes and their families. We have great fans that come out and support us year-round, and our wonderful sponsors. So it's a really fun way to raise money for a great program and also share the awareness of what we're doing. It's all about inclusion uh, and showcasing our athletes' abilities through Special Olympics, and so we're really grateful to the partners here at SeaWorld and being part of this great event. Now, um, I, I'm not great with cold weather. What kind of temperature range am I looking at for the water this morning? Right, every day the pools here at Aquatica are heated to 82 degrees, so that's fantastic. But I turned the heaters off a couple of weeks ago and we're down to 61 degrees in the wave pool right behind you. And that's where we're gonna be taking the plunge. So it's gonna be quite a shock, but once they're out, they get to enjoy the rest of the day. 
run over to Big Surf Shores and get in that 82 degree weather and it's just fantastic. All right, luckily I've been able to find some experts on cold water environments. Um, do you guys have any pro tips about plunging into the water? No? Okay, cold water. I'm gonna give it a test before I go for the big plunge. Too cold, too cold, too cold, too cold. Banks, I can't do it. You've got to do it. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. You're, you're the reporter. You have to do this. No, no, it's okay. I, I brought a note. I have a, an extreme reaction to cold water, and so I can have a proxy participant, and then I'll tell you about how I feel about it. Uh, Banks, uh, you're going to have to do it. I, I oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I'm afraid you're going to have to do it, Banks. <laughs> you got your suit in the car, right? I told you to bring it. Yeah. Okay, all right, let's do this. It's for a good cause. You owe me. much for taking my spot. I really, really appreciate it. Of course. Why, why don't I have a robe? You, you weren't even in the cold water. I, I need a robe right now. Um, you, you are welcome to mine for the rest of the day if you would like it. It's been a fantastic morning. Quarter of a million dollars raised for an amazing charity. Oh yeah, it's all for a great cause and lots of people having fun out here and I had a blast. It was really first time doing something like this and I, I might do this again next year. Yeah, I will work on my cold water tolerance certainly and join yes, you, you for will. that. <laughs> you will. I will make sure. <laughs> great. Check out specialolympicsflorida.org for more details on next year's event happening in February. The next time you plan a Disney vacation, book with a travel agency that's been specifically designated as an authorized Disney vacation planner. Unlike some other agencies, many of our agents' exclusive knowledge of Walt Disney World can help you get the most out of your vacation, and the assistance of our travel professionals can help you get a customized Disney vacation that's just right for you, your family, and your budget. Start planning your magical vacation today by visiting mousefantravel.com. Skip the lines with undercover tourists, crowd calendars, touring plans, and mobile apps. Stop paying full price for your family vacation and visit Undercover Tours today. Our viewers who live miles and miles away probably don't know much about the new Jungle Cruise restaurant in Magic Kingdom. Don't you mean miles? No, no, Andy, I think you are in denial. You're taking my puns for granted. Oh. I see what you did there. No, no, and I am a big fan. Ah, huh? ah, huh? big fan, like the big fan in the Skipper Canteen. So. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> here's a look at what you can find in the canteen from our reporter, Jungle Jesse. But be careful of her pet crocodile, Ginger. Mm -hmm. She snacks. <laughs> Jesse here inside the Magic Kingdom to check out the brand new restaurant, the Skipper Canteen. Let's go have an adventure. My favorite room here is hidden behind a bookcase. It is a secret room for society of explorers and adventurers. The 
is the third room you can dine in. This is the Falls Family Parlor. And in it, you're going to find a model of one of the Jungle Cruise boats. So tell us the story behind this unique dining experience. Hmm. Well, as you may or may not know, Dr. Albert Falls was the founder of the Jungle Navigation Company, and he was himself a member of the Society of Explorers and Adventurers. So when he built his headquarters for the uh, for his company, the Jungle Navigation Company, he also included a secret room behind a false bookcase. Uh, that was a secret meeting room for the Society of Explorers and Adventurers. Um, since his passing, though, and his granddaughter has taken over the restaurant, um, she's opened up the facility to hungry passers-by. It's not just the staff anymore, uh, so she needed more room. She opened up that once secret room now, and, and you can dine there. What is your favorite part of this restaurant? <laughs> uh, well, goodness. We, uh, what we really like about this restaurant is how it immer immerses guests in a story. Um, you're surrounded by the lore and the kind of the history of the Jungle Cruise, uh, one of our most popular attractions and since, you know, Disneyland opened back in 1955. The um, cast here are meant to be uh, an extension of your visit to the Jungle Cruise. So they kind of joke with you, they laugh with you, they poke fun and tell silly jokes. You guys are always hiding unique details and funny little stories. Is there anything our guests should be looking for? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, this place is absolutely filled to the brim with uh, fun little tributes and unique stories and references to the Jungle Cruise. Um, one thing at that, you know, we spoke earlier about the secret entrance into the sea room. Whenever you were going to open a one of those false bookcases in an old movie to get to the secret room, you'd always pull out one of the books. You can actually see that book that's pulled open to, that makes the latch of that uh, bookcase that's now in its open position. It, uh, our props team found an actual first edition print of The Jungle Book by Rudyard Kipling. So that is out there on the shelf. Another fun thing, if you look up on the balcony here, we have a tribute to three original Imagineers. We have Harper Goff, Mark Davis, and Bill Evans, who were instrumental in the creation of the original Jungle Cruise out at Disneyland, as well as the one here at Magic Kingdom. And what can you tell us about this very unique offering? Well, the unique offering here is that uh, we bring these flavors from the four rivers, the Nile, the Amazon, the Congo, and the Mekong River. And it's very bold, um, not something you see in a theme park. Uh, a lot of flavors from Ethiopia, Egyptian, uh, little Chinese, Vietnamese. What would be your top dish to share? Well, our top dish for our guests, our guest favorite, is our um, char siu pork. It's uh, marinated pork, a uh, little steamed rice, and Chinese broccoli. And then uh, one of our favorite appetizers is our sea shu mai, which we're sitting in the sea room. <laughs> uh, and it's a, a, a pork and shrimp dumpling. That all sounds very yeah. tasty for me. But what if I'm not into those exotic flavors? Do you still offer something for, like, kiddos and stuff? We still offer some mainstream items. Like, you know, we have a New York strip on the menu with uh, um, chimichurri sauce and, and uh, yucca fries. So it's kind of your basic steak, but we still do grilled steaks. <laughs> well, we have two great specialty drinks. We have our Schweitzer Slush, which is named after the famous explorer, Dr. Albert Slush. We also have our Punchline Punch, which is hilariously good. It's a blend of mango, guava, passion fruit juices served over ice. It's delicious. Which one of these is your personal favorite? Personally, I love the Punchline Punch. And if you'd like, get it with a little spiced rim for an extra zinger. It's delicious. <laughs> well, we're here in the parlor room, but what if I wanted to eat in a certain room? Can I request it? Absolutely. So we have three great dining rooms here, and our guests, as they check in with us here at our podium, are welcome to request the mess hall, which is a favorite, along with the jungle room here we are, and the sea room. So what hours are you guys actually open for? That's a great question. Uh, we open at 11 a.m. every day, and then we typically stay open until 9.30, but we do follow the park close, so times can fluctuate. The Skipper Canteen is now open. If you enjoyed your tour, my name is Jessie. If you didn't enjoy your tour, my name is Banks Lee. Starting to warm up again here in Central Florida, so make sure you pack all the essentials for our weather. It's basically a crime to leave your bathing suit at home when visiting Florida. And with the Flower and Garden Festival at Epcot starting up again, don't forget your allergy medicine if you need it. Pollen and other allergies are hard to avoid during springtime in Orlando.
Attractions Magazine is your guide to the world's greatest theme parks and attractions. Get the best information, photos, travel tips, rumors, interviews, and reviews from Attractions Magazine. Whether it's new, unique, big or small, or your theme park favorites, we cover it all in Attractions Magazine. Each issue features Central Florida's thrills and excitement delivered directly to your doorstep. Subscribe today at AttractionsMagazine.com. And now for this week's calendar. The Orlando Home and Garden Show will be at the Orange County Convention Center Friday through Sunday. The Entertainment Designers Forum takes place this Friday night at the Orlando Rep. The Real Music Series at Busch Gardens concludes this week with Chubby Checker through Saturday and their Food and Wine Festival begins Saturday with a performance by Gary Allen and Huey Lewis and the News on Sunday. Mardi Gras at Universal continues this weekend with Cool and the Gang on Saturday. SeaWorld Orlando's Brands Brew and Barbecue features a performance by the Steve Miller Band on Saturday and Daughtry on Sunday. And finally, this year's Flower and Garden Festival at Epcot has begun, and this week's performance is by the Orchestra, tomorrow and Saturday. Subscribe to our calendar at attractionsmagazine.com to stay up to date on these events and more. This week's shout-out goes to Kaylin Michelle Batten. Yes, we do do shout-outs. <laughs> Speaking of us doing shout-outs, I have a couple shout-outs myself. A big happy birthday to Kat Cressida, mm -hmm. who was the voice of the bride herself from the Haunted Ooh. Mansion. We hope you have a great birthday. And also, <laughs> shout-out to our Twitter account, at Disney365. Thank you so much for saying hello. <laughs> And now we want to thank MEI Travel, our preferred travel agent for cruises, Disney World, Universal, and all your other vacation planning needs. For a free quote with no obligation, visit MEITravel.com. And much thanks to Undercover Tourist, our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Orlando and California attractions. For more information, visit UndercoverTourist.com. And thanks to Fun Spot America, Central Florida's only family-owned theme park. They provide safe, clean fun in Orlando and Kissimmee. Visit fun-spot.com for tickets and more information. If you enjoy our show, please support it by subscribing to our magazine through our website and our app or on the Nook. We also want to tell you about a deal we have with Theme Park Connection. If you spend $100 with them, you'll get a free copy of the magazine. And if you spend $250, you'll get a free one-year subscription. So, you did it. How do you, how do you feel after your first co-hosting? I got this. You this got is this. Hey, Banks, if you need a vacation, a couple <laughs> weeks, I got your back. Don't worry. Yes. Don't worry. Andy is here. But we do hope you have a speedy recovery, Banks. Definitely. Yes. Please feel better soon, buddy. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us, and we hope you'll tune in again next week. Until then, visit your local attractions, try something new, stay safe, but most of all, have, have fun. fun. Walt Disney World has a new source of energy, mouse power. <laughs> <laughs> That's let's, right. Let's do that again. <laughs> Jesse here outside the jungle canteen, the skipper canteen, not the jungle canteen.